coming for a long time, and it spills over tonight at the CompuBox Academy. I'm Todd Grisham. Alongside me is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. Time for our tale of the tape. It's King Rye, Ryan Garcia. Five foot, 10 inches tall, weighed in at 129 pounds. His reach, 70 inches. He'll be facing Arturo Thundergotti. He stands at five foot, eight inches tall. This man has never been in a boring fight. This is it. This is that fight. This is that argument. I don't know what to expect. Up first, it's Ryan King Rye Garcia. They also call him Flash, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, some of the fastest hands in all of boxing. Arturo Thunder Gotti, fighting out of Quebec, Canada. This New Jersey fighting legend is ready to go again. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. And with that, we turn it over to the world-renowned ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from Victorville, California, here is the exciting boxing sensation. Introducing King Rye, Ryan Garcia. Hiding out of the blue corner, the blood and guts warrior, the Hall of Famer from Jersey City, New Jersey, a super lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Thunder Gotti. What a pleasure to be in this unique environment. Every seat has been taken for tonight's match. Todd, we've been talking about this all the way down, and then we see the crowd, the people, the fans. We just cannot wait for this fight to get on. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Hey. These athletes have been waiting a long time to square off. Here we go. Insane action. Counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Nice counter. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He got out of the way of that right hook. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. He threw the hook, didn't land. One of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked. This is some of the best action I've seen in any round anywhere this year. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Ryan Garcia. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because it... Here we go, round two. Who's going to land the first big shot? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ, 
Counter punches are the best. He misses with that jab. What is this fighter doing? There's nothing behind these punches. Perfect punch. It doesn't always pay to be first. It pays to be last. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. He just misses with that big right hand. landed the bravery being shown this round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go let's talk about Ryan Garcia what would you tell this guy if he's got to do something different? You know, I've been in fights like that. When you're thinking, come on, bro, ring away. You walk back to the corner like you've just seen the sun. The referee calling for seconds out as we get set to jump back in the action. And there's the bell for round three. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him, tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. When you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses, how do you deal with him? Let me explain to you about a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and footwork. They're relaxed. They're confident. They know they just have to quick burst. Boom! In a split second, they've let four shots go. Their footwork has got them out of the way. And these guys are so relaxed. And that's why they can maintain this all the way through a fight. Fantastic punch. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. And these shots, even if they land, are going to do no damage. Why sit in the pocket when your punches are this slow? Catch and shoot. Might want to back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. He prevents that left uppercut from scoring. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Let's talk about Ryan Garcia. On to the fourth we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one.
one of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when a belly in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? And he misses with that jab. And he fails to score with that left hook. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Let's talk about Ryan Garcia. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Good, good. Keep doing what you're doing, the gaps are up here, and just start tying up. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Nice exchange here from both men. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Count. Good right hand. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful though. Swing and a miss with that hook. Let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Don't let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about what. This is the beginning of round six. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. Yes. 
and he blocks the left uppercut. There's a big difference between being the aggressor and the effective aggressor. Which type are we seeing so far? How do you deal with an aggressive fighter? What you do is you fight, fire, we fight. You either give it and back because that's where they're comfortable, or you play calm, play cool. These two are the perfect dance partners. You'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. They both want to knock out, you can tell. Defense is not an op. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Ryan Garcia. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're gonna get a kitchen sink. Every time you see him, take a big deep breath. Bang him down. Don't get the jab and don't get carried away. Think about the tension and the what you do. And there's the bell for round seven. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's gonna come out and put the pressure on. He's gonna throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's gonna try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. Throw a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again, and the fight will be over. Hey, those punches add up. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. I've seen some aggressive fighters. They can terrorize the life out of you before they've even thrown a shot. The strength they have, the speed they have, and that knockout punch, they want to punch through you. They don't want to punch you. They want to punch straight through you. So you've got to be careful. No power in those. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. The flash is seeing flashes after that shot. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's talk about Ryan Garcia. Let's see how the game plan changes after that big knockdown. To make or break a fighter. And we enter the eighth round. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this 
You watch what's gonna happen. If he does that, I'll be very, very surprised. Not a lot of defense here at all. That left counter was perfectly timed. There's a counter shot. Lands with the right counter. And he just missed with that left jab. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters certainly has a significant speed advantage. You can tell who it is. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter. Fast fighter that can throw three full shot combinations before you even let one up. That creates frustration and that's when it gets hard. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. They exchange punches. He misses with that jab. Still swinging with nothing left. So far, the offense has been better than the defense. A very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about it. Both fighters starting to get tired as we start round nine. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. An upset of the year, perhaps, right before our op. And Gotti goes down. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. It's that for ever hope. Remember the fighter Evander Holyfield? He could be behind on points until the last 10 seconds, but he's fighting like he's going to pull it back. That's the kind of hope we need. Will the referee stop it? And the kid goes down. Talk about Ryan Garcia. We've made it to round 10. Both fighters went to the canvas last round. What are we going to see here? Two knockdowns in the same round to both fighters. How is this going to work? But you know what? The one that was knocked down earlier, he's the one that's got more time to recover. But it's still hard. It still plays on your brain to see what's happened. they got to think like a goldfish. Forget after 10 seconds. they got to be smart. Good counter punch. <laughs> right hook just missed. He scored that left hand. Beautiful counter shot. He missed with that jab.
changes for both men in this round. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that... Can they finish it? No! God, he's down! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... surprises of the year. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it. 